Good evening, mathematicians. Tonight's lesson is lesson 4.6, Division and the Distributive Property. We are working on page 79 of our Go Math book, and at the top of page 79, you're going to write our essential question down. How can I use the distributive property to divide and find a quotient? So go ahead and write this at the top of page 79. Now, they did number one for us already, but we're just going to see how did they solve it. So remember, with the distributive property, that's when we break apart numbers to make them easier to work with. So in this case, they're going to be breaking apart a number so it's easier to divide. So for number one, they've done 54 divided by three. Now, they broke apart 54, but they didn't break it apart with place values because then we would have a 50 and a four and neither one of those numbers, those place values, they're not divisible by three. So they took 54 and they broke it up into a 30 and a 24 because 30 plus 24 is 54 and 30 is divisible by three and 24 is divisible by three. Now, if you're confused on how they were able to find 30 and 24, a little trick that I like to use is that I like to write my multiples of three, which is my divisor, and I'm going to find a multiple that ends with the last number of the dividend, so that's four. So if I have my multiples of three, I have my multiples of three here, and remember, I'm looking for something that ends in a four, just like my dividend. So as you can see, I found one, 24. So I know that 24 is divisible by three because it's in my multiples list. So I'm going to say, okay, my, one of my numbers is going to be 24, but I need to find what can I add to 24 that will give me 54. So I can take 54 and subtract 24 what, from it, and that will give me what's left. So I have 30, and 30 is divisible by 3 as well, because if I keep going for my list, 27, and then 30, 30 is on that list too. So 24 plus 30, that gives me 54. Now, once you've broken up the dividend, you have to divide it by the 3. So 30 divided by 3 well, that's 10. And 24 divided by 3, that's 8. These numbers are called partial quotients. They are part of your quotient. When I add them together, 10 plus 8, I will get 18, which is the quotient. Now, I'm going to check my work. And I'm going to check my work using the invert operation or the opposite operation, which would be multiplication. I'm going to take my quotient, which is 18, and my divisor, which is three, and multiply them. 18 times three. If I was correct, I should get 54, which is my dividend. Three times eight is 24, Regroup my two and drop down my four ones. Three times one is three plus two is five. So I did get my 54. So that means that my quotient of 18 is correct. Let's look at number two. Number two, we are dividing 81 divided by three. We're going to use the distributive property to help us break apart the 81 into numbers that are divisible by three. Now, I can't break it up into place value because 80 is not divisible by three and neither is one. 
So I'm going to use my multiples trick to help me. I'm looking at this last number in the dividend, which is 1. I'm going to use my multiples of 3 to help me find a number that ends with a 1 as well. Okay, here's my list of 3's and I found a 21. 21 ends in a 1 as well and it's divisible by 3. So I know that one of my numbers is going to be 21. So I'm going to circle it because I need it. Now I need to figure out 21 plus something else gives me 81 because remember they have to add up to 81 which is our dividend. So I'm going to take 81 and I'm going to subtract 21 from it to see what the other number is. 1 minus 1 is 0 and 8 minus 2 is 6. Now I know that 60 is divisible by 3 because 6 is divisible by 3. So my two numbers that add up to 81 are 60 and 21. Now I need to take my 60 and my 21 and I need to divide it by the divisor, which is 3. So 60 divided by 3 plus 21 divided by 3. So I'm making many division problems. Using basic facts, I can find 60 divided by 3. Well, 6 divided by 3 is 2 with a 0 gives me 20 plus 21 divided by 3, that gives me 7. Now I have my partial quotients, and I'm going to add them. 20 plus 7 gives me 27. So that is my quotient. But before I finish, I need to check my work using multiplication. I'm going to take my quotient, which is 27, and multiply it by the divisor, which is 3. 27 times 3. If I'm correct, I should get the dividend, 81. 7 times 3 is 21. And 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So I am correct. My quotient is 27. All right, let's look at number three. Number three says 232 divided by four. We're going to break up that 232 into compatible numbers so it's easy to divide. Now, I wanna look at this 232 and I'm gonna see if I can break it up into place values. Now, I know that this two is worth 200. And then I have a 32. So I know that 200 plus 32 gives me 232. And 200 is divisible by 4 and 32 is divisible by 4. So I can use both of these numbers to divide them by 4. So I broke it up into place values this time. So now we can take our 200 and divide it by 4 plus our 32 and divide that by 4. Well, 200 divided by 4, well, I know that 20 divided by 4 is 5 and my extra zero on the end in the ones place, plus 32 divided by four is eight. These are my partial quotients, 50 and an eight. Well, 50 plus eight gives me 58. So that should be my quotient, but I need to check it first. How are we going to check our division problem? With multiplication, you're correct. We're going to take our quotient, 58, and multiply it 
by our divisor, 4. If I'm correct, I should get the dividend, 232. 8 times 4 is 32. And 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. So I got 232, which means that 58 is indeed my quotient. I was correct. Let's go on to one last problem, number 4. Number 4 says 305 divided by 5. And we're going to use the distributive property to break apart the 305 and divide it by 5. Now, I'm looking at this number 305, and I can see that a 5 is at the end of it. 5 is divisible by 5, and the rest would be my 305. So I'm going to break up this 305 into a 300 divided by 5 and a 5 divided by 5. So, math friends, I want you to go ahead and finish the problem. You're going to divide, and you're going to find the partial quotients and add. So go ahead, pause the video and work on this, and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, when I divided 300 divided by 5, I did 30 divided by 5, which is 6, with my 0 in my 1's place. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we have 60 plus 1, which gives me 61. Now, when I check with multiplication, I can see that when I multiplied 61 times my divisor 5, I did get my 305, which is my dividend. So we are correct. Great job, friends. All right, for 5 through 14, we are going to put a star and write the word save because we are going to save these problems for class tomorrow, and we're going to work on them tomorrow in class. So go ahead and put a star and put save. All right, don't forget, we have to do our homework. For homework tonight, you are working on page 80, and you are only doing numbers 1 and 2. Now, for numbers 1 and 2, I've already broken up the division problems for you. So here, this will help you out here. So make sure for number 1, we're doing 176 divided by 8 and we've broken it up into 160 and a 16. For number two, you're doing 65 divided by five, and we've broken up that 65 into a 50 plus a 15. So go ahead and finish these problems and fill in your answers, and I'd like to see the work along with that. And remember, you're only doing numbers one and two tonight. Don't forget after your homework to assess yourself. Tell us if you feel like you're a number one, novice, level two, apprentice, level three, practitioner, or a level four, expert. I hope that you enjoyed the video tonight, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night. Bye.